everyone it's a week until exams and i was fine my sister's just made me feel a little bit sick because i've been procrastinating a little bit this morning i go downstairs and she's like Paige, why are you not revising for your exams your exams are literally in a week's time <laughs> i know but i'm just trying not to think about it What I'm doing right now is I am registering, I think, on the exam platform. I've been sent a reminder email. I should have done this before, but whenever I see an email about exams, like, you know, I don't want to engage in that, you know, they're bringing me down here. I know I shouldn't think like this, but in my head, it's like this is my opportunity to prove that I am capable of becoming an actuary and my performance in these exams will allow me to prove myself at my company and show that they were right to hire me and that I will qualify as an actuary one day. I don't know, just because it's my first set of exams, like I just feel this need to prove myself. After I've registered on the exam platform, my plan of action for today, which is a study day, it's a Thursday, it's my last regular study day that I have before my exams. And I need to go through my business finance mock. I've received that back marked. I got 62%, so fairly pleased with that that's a borderline pass basically i have actually already gone through the majority of questions in it this morning but i still have a couple of the long answer ones that i need to go over and figure out what the hell is going on with weighted average cost of capital then i need to keep going with past paper questions we're in a bit of a past paper frenzy at the moment particularly statistics questions using r welcome to the online practical exams Saturday morning. I didn't actually vlog yesterday, but really the headline of the day was that Prince Philip, the Queen's consort, passed away. I didn't do any studying because obviously I had a client work day and that was quite full on because I've got quite a busy project and I just needed some time off in the evening. Like I can't just work continuously even with exams next week. So I just did a bit of reading in the evening and chatted to my parents. It's going to be a study weekend. I have got a few social activities planned. Well, when I say a few, I've got one social activity planned, but like, whoa, everyone like stop what they're doing. Paige is like actually leaving the house and seeing people. That's quite a big thing. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that. And I am making time for it, even though my exams are next week. Hopefully the weather stays good because obviously we have to meet outdoors. And yeah, I'm just going to get as much done as I can today so that tomorrow I can have fun and go out. Study mode activated. Good evening, everyone. So I've been sat at my desk for a lot of today to be honest i'm just marking a practice paper i did for my paper using r and it's actually really satisfying marking this paper because they're really generous with marks you have to do quite a small amount of work to get five marks for example but the reason it feels that way is because this exam is shorter than my other exams but you still have to collect 100 marks in that time this exam is an hour and 45 minutes so 105 minutes to get 100 marks just over a minute per mark but my other exams are three hours and 15 minutes to get 100 marks so they're two minutes per mark so i should be picking up marks at double the speed in this exam 
as I should be in my other exams. So that's why I'm finding, oh wow, look at all these marks I'm collecting up. I'm so great. No, it's just like the setup of the exam. I'm feeling so chill about these exams. This is the most chill I have felt about exams since I was probably 14 years old or something like that, like before my GCSE exams when I was 16. And that's nice. I'm loving this new chill vibe I've got going on. I'm like, yeah, who, who cares? You know, I'm just gonna go give it my best shot. But also it just means I'm not focusing as much. Normally that little bit of panic makes me do my work. But if I'm too chilled about exams, I'm just sat here like, oh, could revise, could read a bit of a book, could just stare out into the distance and daydream. What difference does it make? No, I need to, you know, fully focus because I do want to pass these exams. I know I'm chilled about them, but obviously I do care about passing them and I would like to pass them first time. I have now got solid plans to meet up with friends tomorrow and I am so excited. We're meeting up at about lunchtime tomorrow. Please let the weather be okay. I'm just... I'm gonna be so happy to actually see people. I look like a mess today. Like, what even is this? I need to make myself look presentable because I'm actually leaving the house tomorrow and actually seeing people. Oh, so hyped. The day has come that we're going out and oh, no, I need to choose an outfit. How exciting is this? I'm actually choosing an outfit to see people in. This is, this is, this is great. I've missed this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I have got dressed. I am not quite ready yet. My face is not sorted. My hair is not sorted. I've thrown on a t-shirt for now because I'm not actually going out yet, but I have got my corduroy trousers on. Yeah, I'm going to go have a pan of chocolat. Look at these weekend treats. Yum. I am ready to head out whoa she's going out for a social occasion what is this who is she my dad's giving me a lift so i just got back from my trip out to actually see friends and oh it was so so nice like genuinely i have missed interacting with people in person and of course we were safe we were outside kept a distance all that but like it's just so nice that restrictions are easing now and i can actually see friends in person outside now unfortunately though you know two hours later and i'm back in the house i need to get back to a revision because i have got exams next week and i can't just socialize i'm looking to meet up with more friends again in next week but I think I'm going to leave it until next weekend and make that like a revision break too because I've got exams in the coming week and also the week after I've gotten an exam. It is definitely going to be a case of making sure I'm still getting sufficient study time in while, you know, getting some socialisation. Because if I was, for example, still at uni, I would still be socialising between revision, right? I don't have to stay locked up in my room the whole time. Yeah, I'm gonna get back upstairs, back to my statistics revision. Let's go.